What scientists have just discovered is turning our understanding of the universe upside down. Evidence has been found that we are floating in a gigantic cosmic void, and this discovery could solve several of the biggest mysteries in cosmology. Make sure to stick around until the end, because this will shake up your worldview. A warm welcome. The Femi Paradox, the Hubble Crisis, all of that could be solved in one fell swoop, thanks to one of the craziest discoveries of recent years. If you always want to stay up to date with the latest cosmic discoveries, then go ahead and subscribe to the channel right now. Subscribing doesn't cost anything. You'll never miss another fascinating video, and you'll be helping me out a lot. And if you've already subscribed, you can really support this video by giving it a thumbs up. Maybe we'll hit 5,000 likes. The YouTube algorithm loves that. So, what's going on now? Researchers from the University of Portsmouth and the University of St. Andrews have discovered something that could completely turn our understanding of the universe upside down. They investigated the sound of the Big Bang. Yes, you heard right, the Big Bang made a sound and discovered that our Milky Way is most likely floating in a gigantic cosmic void. I can already see the question marks above your heads. Before we dive into the details, we first need to talk about a problem that has been keeping cosmologists up at night for years, the Hubble tension. Sounds like a bad sci-fi movie or something, but it's actually one of the biggest headaches in modern astrophysics. Here's the problem. Depending on how we measure the speed at which the universe is expanding, we get completely different results. It's like measuring your car with two different speedometers, one showing 50 kilometers per hour and the other 73 kilometers per hour. Something's not right here. The car dealer probably ripped you off big time, except in the universe, there isn't some shady car dealer who sold us this thing. If we take measurements from the early universe, like cosmic background radiation or baryonic acoustic oscillations, we get a Hubble constant of about 67 kilometers per second per megaparsec. If, on the other hand, we take measurements of objects close to us, such as supernovae or Cepheid stars, we end up with 73 kilometers per second per megaparsec. That's a huge difference. It's as if the universe has two completely different speeds, depending on whether you measure from far away or up close. Either something is wrong with our measurements, or, and this is the exciting part, we live in a very special cosmic environment. Before we dive deeper, write your guesses in the comments. How can the Hubble tension be explained? I am super excited to hear your creative ideas and look forward to the discussion in the comments. This is where our cosmic void comes into play. So how does a gigantic hole solve our cosmological headache? Dr. Indra Nobanik from the University of Portsmouth explains, one possible solution to this inconsistency is that our galaxy is located near the center of a large local void. But what exactly is a cosmic void? Imagine the universe as a giant Swiss cheese. The solid parts are regions with many galaxies, stars, and dark matter, essentially the cheese mass. The holes in the cheese would then be the empty spaces or voids, regions where there is significantly less matter than average. That reminds me of an old paradox that fascinated me even as a child. The more Swiss cheese, the more holes. But the more holes, the less Swiss cheese. Therefore, the more Swiss cheese, the less Swiss cheese. <laughs> These voids are truly gigantic. We are talking about structures that are hundreds of millions or even billions of light years across. In these regions, the matter density is about 20% lower than the cosmic average. And now it gets really interesting. If we actually live in such a void, then that would explain why our local measurements of expansion yield different values than the global ones. Dr. Bannock describes it this way. It would cause matter to be pulled by gravity toward the denser outer edge of the void, causing the void to become emptier over time. As the empty space empties, the speed of objects away from us would be greater than if the empty space were not there. This creates the appearance of a faster local expansion expansion rate, but how did the researchers figure that out? With a very exciting method. They listened to the echoes of the Big Bang, just what you do when you're bored. When the universe was still a baby, we're talking about the first 380,000 years after the Big Bang, everything was full of hot plasma. In this plasma, gravity and radiation pressure created gigantic sound waves. The universe had its own cosmic soundtrack, so to speak. When the universe became large and cool enough, these sound waves froze. They left patterns in the distribution of matter, like fossil sound waves that are still visible in the universe today. This is called Baryonic Acoustic Oscillation, or BAO for short. These BAO patterns are like gigantic circular structures, each about a billion light years across. Since we know how big they should be, we can use them as a kind of cosmic ruler to measure distance. 
Researchers have now analyzed 20 years of BAO data and found that if we live in a void, then this pattern should be slightly distorted and that's exactly what they found. The results are clear. Dr. Bannock says, our results suggest that a universe with a local void is about 100 million times more likely than a cosmos without one. This cosmic void in which we live would be about 2 billion light years across. That is so gigantic that it is almost impossible to imagine. Our entire local group of galaxies, including the Milky Way, Andromeda, and 80 smaller galaxies would be just a tiny dot in this huge void. Somehow, it fits. Humanity and the Earth are in the middle of the universe. But what does that mean for us? Don't panic. We're not going to be sucked into space. This empty space has existed for billions of years and we have evolved within it. So nothing changes for us, but for cosmology, it would be revolutionary. It would mean that our position in the universe is anything but average. Until now, we assumed that Earth, our solar system, and our galaxy were nothing special. The so-called Copernican principle, but perhaps we do live in a rather special neighborhood after all, that would also explain why some of our measurements deviate from what we expect from the rest of the universe. We basically become cosmic country bumpkins who judge the population density of the entire world based on their own rural surroundings. What I find especially fascinating this not only offers a possible solution to the Hubble tension, but also to the Fermi paradox. So the fact that we haven't discovered extraterrestrial life yet, even though the universe is so vast that it should actually exist, if we live in a less dense region, that also means a below average number of star systems, a below average number of planets, and therefore a lower chance of life forming in the entire void than outside it. The rest of the universe could be a bustling metropolis and we could be squatting in a cosmic village. Although I much prefer being in the village than in the big city. Yeah, overall it's a good reminder that we humans often tend to see our own experience as universal. But maybe our cosmic environment is actually just a kind of fringe phenomenon or a freak accident. If this theory is confirmed, then we would be the inhabitants of a cosmic bubble. A gigantic void in a sea of dense matter. And this bubble could explain why the universe looks different to us than we originally expected. I'll keep you updated on any further findings about this. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel now. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up so we can hit 5,000 likes. And speaking of unusual phenomena, in my next video, we'll take a look at footage from Canada. These may show ball lightning, one of the most mysterious weather phenomena ever. These electric ghost balls are so rare that... Pendant longtemps, de nombreux scientifiques ont douté de leur existence. Mais les nouvelles images pourraient bien changer cela. Cliquez en haut à droite pour voir les images originales. C'est vraiment très, très passionnant. As always, you'll find another exciting video about science and space at the bottom right. Otherwise, I'd say see you in the next video. Take care, everyone.